everyone. I hope y'all are having a great night so far. Tonight I thought it would be fun to do the I Love Drugstore Makeup Tag. I have seen Stila Babe 09 do this one, and I believe Makeup by Ali started it. Not quite sure, but I believe she started it. So anyways, I thought this was a terrific tag because it highlights some of your favorite items from the drugstore. Drugstore makeup has improved so much over the last few years. And I think there are a lot of really great quality items that deserve mentioning. So yeah, I'm just going to hop right in and start. It goes one through seven. So I'm going to go ahead and look at a piece of paper. So if I'm looking up, that's why. So number one is your favorite drugstore makeup brands. I have three, and they're for separate things. My favorite face product or brand for facial products is Boots Number no. Seven. My favorite brand for eye products is Maybelline and Wet n Wild. That's kind of a tie. And my favorite for lip products is Revlon. Number two, favorite face products, and it kind of groups cheek and lip products in there as well, so I'm just going to show you all of them. My favorite face product to start out with foundation wise is by Boots Number no. 7, and this is the Intelligent Balance Mousse Foundation in number 10, New Ivory, and I'm really a big fan of this. Sorry, my dogs are having a hissy fit in there. My cat likes to drag his tail along their crates while they're eating their dinner and drive them absolutely crazy. It maddens them, poor things. So this is what it looks like. And it's just a very nice whipped foundation. For blush, my favorite would be the Sonia Kushik Beautifying Blush in number 97 Flamingo. I use this all the time. I'm also a big fan of her blush in Melon. And it's kind of cool. It's magnetic. See? Kind of neat. So, yeah, I highly, highly recommend the Sonia Kushik blushes. I think they're terrific. My favorite drugstore highlight is from Hard Candy, and you can pick this up at Walmart. And this is the So Baked Bronzer in number 129, Tiki. Now, I don't use this as a bronzer, though. I do use this for highlight. And it is just, I'll show you here, is a beautiful highlight color. I think it's very comparable to some Dior and Chanel highlights. Why spend money on those when you can have just like the perfect dupe. It's kind of at the bottom. Hard to tell. Didn't really swatch that well. Didn't think about it. Okay. Let's move on to my favorite lip products from the drugstore. And I do have quite a few, so just bear with me. My favorite from the Boots line that I want to show you are their, their Brilliant Lip Glazes. And I do have three different shades. I have Jelly Bean, Marshmallow, and Angel Cake. Jelly Bean, Marshmallow, Angel Cake. And out of the three, I would say Marshmallow is my favorite. It's more of a pinkish tone. These are not sticky. They're not tacky. They have great pigmentation to them. But they're my favorite as far as sheer drugstore glosses go because they're very buildable. You can put them over other things, and they look very flattering. My favorite opaque type drugstore lip gloss that you can really wear on its own is from NYX. And since you can buy these at Ulta, I'm including it as like a drugstore favorite because you can buy them at a lot of places and let's see this is in gold pink number 131 but I have crystal soda and I really like that one a lot as well I have tons of these they are terrific they taste delicious but their packaging is a nightmare this part always comes off watch it not do it now well, anyways, the top part here tends to come off, and when you close it, a lot of times you have goop <laughs> built up on the side. So that's my only gripe. I don't like NYX packaging, but their products are terrific. So this is what it looks like swatched. Very pretty color. My favorite lip butter type products, which are very wearable, and you can wear them on their own, or you can kind of build them, are the Revlon Lip Butters. Where's the other one? Oh, here we go. Sorry, guys. Had a little momentary issue there. These are in creme brulee and sugared frosting. And I also have tons and tons of these. I love the darker shades as well. I think they're very flattering on most skin types. Creme brulee, there's nothing left. So, obviously, this is going to go in an empties video very soon. And this sugared frosting has to be my all-time favorite from them, though, from the lip butters. I am on my second one. I liked it so much, I went out and got another one. I just did another video, so sorry guys, I'm kind of running out of room to swatch things. 
but this is it right here. And I'm typically not big into the whole frosted lip thing. I don't want to look like a back alley hooker. However, this is a very sheer, flattering frosted color. It's just, just the right shade of perfection. I think it's lovely. So, highly, highly recommend sugared frosting from Maybelline. My favorite product from L'Oreal is just probably my favorite everyday lipstick color. And this is the Color Riche number 180 in Silky Java. I'd say this is my favorite everyday, like a nude, taupey type lip. And I think this is a shade that's going to be flattering on a lot of different skin tones. Sorry guys, my nails are not painted right now. I've been working all day and yeah, nail polish chips off, so I'll have to paint them soon. But this is what it looks like swatched. And it's just a very nice wearable color. And another drugstore gloss that I did want to mention, because I don't feel like this has got enough attention, this is the Sonia Koshik Lip Gloss in number 43 Fairy. And I would say the Sonia Koshik Glosses, if you're a fan of MAC, are kind of similar in formulation. That's why I wanted to mention it. Once again, kind of running out of room, but this is it swatched right here. Okay. And as far as face products go, one of the last items I did want to mention is a, mention is a concealer from Sonia Kushik. And this is just the All Covered Up Concealer number 01 Porcelain. And I occasionally use this one for under eye coverage, and I think it's really nice. I'd say it's somewhat comparable to Benefit's Erase Paste if you're looking for a nice dupe. Okay, now the next question is, number three, your least favorite drugstore product. Without hesitation, I absolutely hate these new things. They suck so badly. This is the Revlon Colorstay Ultimate Suede, and this is in number 70 preview. Now I will say the color is pretty, but I hate the finish. This is it swatched right here. I hate it. It just does not wear well on the lips. It kind of flakes off. It's drying. Just not a good product. I'm really disappointed because I love so many of the lip butters and the other products from Revlon. Okay. Number four, the best makeup bargain. The absolute best makeup bargain you're going to find from the drugstore, in my opinion, are the Maybelline Color Tattoos. And I've already shown, I believe, Barely Beige. It is just such a fantastic all-over eyelid color. If you have fair skin for me and you want to use this as a makeup base, now here's why I like these. In your mail, oftentimes a lot of people throw out their junk mail. Don't do that. Because a lot of times manufacturers keep on for drugstore brands like Maybelline, Revlon, things like that are included in there. And oftentimes you'll have a buy one, get one free coupon or 50% off. Now here's where you get a little smart on this one. If you go to Ulta, they will not only take that, they will also take the 20% off coupon they send you, and oftentimes they put their stuff on Zale BOGO. Walgreens will do the same. So I have quite a bit of these because I oftentimes get them for free. So, and I also did want to include these two. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow. I'm just in love with all of them, but I'd say these are the best, absolute best bargain you can get at the drugstore. These are. And we got a man down. Anyways, those are the best bargain at the drugstore that I think, in my opinion. Okay, number five, favorite underdog product. Let's see. Where did it go? I just had it. There should be crickets playing in the background. Oh, here it is. So sorry, guys. I'm exhausted, but I wanted to film this. Okay, my favorite, you know, kind of underdog product from the drugstore is the e.l.f. Complexion Perfection Powder. And I use this after I put on my face primer and before I apply the rest of my makeup. It's just so, so good for evening out your skin tone. This is the second one I've gone through. The first one I had absolutely nothing left of. This is a really great product. I don't hear enough hype on this one. I think it's spectacular. Also, I'm really a big fan of the MAC Studio line brushes. Number six, best drugstore dupes. I would honestly say Hard Candy has a ton of really incredible dupes, like I've already mentioned, especially for their blush and highlight colors. You're not going to top Hard Candy for the dupes. Not possible. Okay, number seven, 
drugstore product that isn't worth the hype. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this so much. It sucks. It does nothing for my lashes. If it's possible, it makes them look worse. And I bought this because another YouTuber that I really like raves about this. Glam, Glam Life Guru. She raves about the Physician Formula Organic Wear Mascara. And so I thought, okay, great, this is going to be spectacular. No, guys, it sucks. I think it just depends on how your lashes are, but this is just not a good product for my lashes, so awful. But on that note, I don't want to end the video with a negative note, so I'm going to show you my absolute favorite, favorite drugstore mascara right now, and it is the Maybelline Rocket Volume Express Mascara, and I do believe I have blackest black. I'm wearing this today. I've worn it. Every single day since I bought this, this stuff is amazing. It's very buildable. It's a nice wet mascara so it doesn't dry and flake off. Last all day. Even last through me chopping an onion and crying. So I'd say this is awesome. So, yeah. That's going to wrap it up for the I Love Makeup Drugstore Makeup Tag. Guys, sorry this video is getting a little bit long. And I got a little rambly on the lipstick part, but... I'm a lip product junkie, what can I say? I hope you all enjoyed this video, and if you like this tag, feel free to do the tag, or just leave a comment below and tell me what your drugstore favorites are. So, see you in another video.